Yeah! I hate to say this, but we should go to the dungeons. What are we doing hanging around here? Snape's going to be angry if we're late. Good! <laughs> Careful, Potter, there's a Dementor behind you. Careful, Potter, there's a Dementor behind you. The Wigan Weld Potion will heal most common injuries. The more attentive of you will remember that the most powerful form of I the potion told you we is had prepared potions. with only the freshly stripped bark of the Wigan tree. Mr. Weasley! <laughs> While you are in my class, you will... Hurry! <laughs> Weasley, bring him to the front. Now. Bring him here. Bring Potter here. Now. Mr. Weasley. Stop right, Mr. Weasley. If you pay attention, you might actually learn something. Pick up both vials of Wigan Weld Potion from the table. To administer the Wigan Weld Potion to yourself, stand away from Potter and drink the contents of one of the vials. Set now. Drink it.
Drink the Wiganweld potion. Now stand close to Potter and administer the potion. What happened? I will let Mr. Weasley give you a full explanation. Although his incompetence speaks for itself. Thanks to Mr. Weasley's little sideshow, we no longer have time for the rest of the lesson. So, you will now be gathering the ingredients for the antidote to uncommon poisons in your own time. Ready for my next lesson. For the next class, therefore, you are to bring fire seeds, billywig stings, chispurfle carapaces, and the horn of a grap horn. Class dismissed. Thanks a lot, Weasley. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. Let's go outside. Well, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Me too. I think we should turn in. Yes, but maybe we should start looking for those potion ingredients for Professor Snape's next potions class. What do you think, Harry? Harry? with the most points at the end of the year will win the House Cup, but I suppose you already know that. I don't know about you, but I'm really hot in these robes. The house point totals are to be counted. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry continued to worry about the Dementors and Sirius Black. But he had plenty of other things to think about as well. You've got to help Neville! What? Neville was wandering around on the fifth floor, and Malfoy's lot found him and locked him in the Muggle Studies classroom. And they've released a ghoul! Where's Hermione? In the girls' dormitory. She's finding it easy to study up there. Well, I suppose it's you and me then, Ron. What are we doing hanging around here? We really should be helping Neville.
did you see is Potter and Weasley. Get out of the way! Still got to save Neville from the ghoul. Nice one! something in here, but I can't open it. in here I can use.
spell book? There's more! How do I get out of here?
on! We need your help down here. OK! What was that? Spell work on the ghoul. It's working. Now leave my friends alone. Okay, let's get back to the common room. Now, please. Can't we go back to the common room now? Find her. You'll be lucky. What do you mean, Peeves? Ashamed, your headship, sir. Doesn't want to be seen. 
So I ran into the landscape on the fourth floor. <laughs> Crying something dreadful. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> did she say who did it? Oh, yes, Professor. He, he got very angry when she wouldn't let him in, you see. Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. And to that effect, Sir Cadogan will be standing in for the fat lady. Now, I know you're all still very worked up about what's happened, but my advice would be for you all to go to bed. The school talked of nothing but Sirius Black following his assault on the fat lady. But with their first ever Care of Magical Creatures lesson fast approaching, Harry, Ron and Hermione's attentions turned to Hagrid. Hagrid doesn't have a normal person's view of what's dangerous. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's get to the class early so that we can give Hagrid some support. It's his first lesson and he's probably more nervous than we are. Let's go into the grounds. Hagrid needs us. going outside. Hermione, I'm sorry to say it, but all that studying you're doing can't be healthy. If you're not careful, your brain's going to burst, you know? I appreciate your concern, Ron. I think.
G up there. Meet Buckbeak. Beautiful, isn't he? Now, the first thing you gotta know about hippogriffs is they're proud. You always wait for a hippogriff to make the first move. It's polite, see? You walk towards him and you bow and you wait. If he bows back, you're allowed to touch him. Harry, Ron, Hermione, who wants to go first? Go on, climb onto his back. Well done. I expect you'd like to fly him. Right, catch as many as you can. You'll need to give Beaky a bit of a run before he can get airborne. Then just fly at the bats and Beaky will do the rest. Go on then. Not bad. You might want to get a little more practice. I'll give you a C for trying. Good work. Give me a go at that thing. This'll be easy. You're not dangerous at all, are you? You ugly great brute. Malfoy, no! Oh. Ah. You're not dying, it's just a scratch. Harry made his way to the Quidditch match, unaware that events that day would take an even worse turn. As the Gryffindor team struggled against the weather, Harry caught sight of a giant black dog high in the stands. An eerie silence fell across the stadium, and a horribly familiar wave of cold swept over him. 
Dementors swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harry fell from his broom and knew no more. Harry slept restlessly in the hospital wing, sinking into dreams full of clammy, rotted hands and petrified teeth. He could hear voices whispering, but they made no sense whatsoever. Ron? Quiet! I know where Sirius Black is. He's down in the dungeons. Follow me! Ron? I've got to stop Ron from finding... Take oh. that! Oh. <laughs> oh no! Wesley! Wesley! Oh, you're going to cry! You're starting to panic! I think I know why! Get me out of here! Your secret's not safe now, I'm in on the joke! Keep out of the way! And I'm dying to see your plans go up in smoke! Get him! Weasley, Weasley, you're in a state! I'm having such fun! This really is great! Stop him! You'll be here for hours, you'll never break free. And we Potty Potter will never catch me. Leave me alone, you imbecile. Weasley, Weasley, what can you do? Caught in the middle and stuck up with glue. Leave me alone, you imbecile. Your best body potter's in hospital too! Ron, about Sirius Black. He's in the dungeons. Come on! Ron. I need to stop Ron. to stop Ron.
stop Ron from finding Sirius Black. Ron, what are you doing? We can't take on Sirius Black on our own. Come on! Look, we've got to get Professor Dumbledore. Will you shut up? He's in the corner. Go on. <gasps> Ron? Apologies, Potion. I think we're even now. Perhaps I might mention that I saw Sirius Black drag you off into the night. Good night, Pon- Ron! How did you know where I was? Peeves! He couldn't wait to tell someone what Draco was up to. Ah! I brought your stuff, including the Marauder's map. Does the map show a route out of here? That's done it! There's a I don't suppose this place gets many visitors. It's horrible. Hedwig! Here you go. Bet Hermione! Bet Hermione! Go up the stairs!
What are you doing, Hedwig? You need to go up the stairs. I think someone's coming. <coughs> Hermione! What on earth did you come down here for, Harry? You should still be in the hospital wing. Long story. And one that involves Malfoy and Polyjuice Potion. Well, let's hurry up and get out of here. Hermione, can you squeeze under the door? <laughs> That's too small for me to get through. Hermione, do you think you can do it? to get to that switch. Careful, Hermione!
Did you find anything? Brilliant! Can he reach that switch and get us out of here? Thanks, Hermione. You really saved us. Fantastic! Yeah. What are those things? Too good. Try 
Try not to be seen. Great. Thanks, Hermione. You really saved us. Oh, I just remembered. We still haven't got any Graphorn Horn for Snape's potions class tomorrow. Um, Hermione? <gasps> Where did you...? Draco. He dropped it. Ron, you're amazing. There's more than enough for everyone here. Let's all turn in. I'm worn out and I really could do with a good sleep. Winter came to Hogwarts. The sky lightened to a dazzling opaline white, and the muddy grounds were hidden beneath a blanket of soft snow. Inside the castle, there was a buzz of Christmas in the air, marred only by worries over Professor Snape's imminent potions class. Well, we got the grap horn horn, but last time I checked, we were still missing some of the other ingredients. We'd better go and find them before we go to Snape's class, then. You know... I do wish Sirius Black was after Malfoy instead of you, Harry. Ron!
Even if we find such as purples, how are we going to get the carapaces off them? Hagrid. I'm sure he can help us. I do hope they find Sirius Black soon. He sounds really scary. I can't imagine how you're feeling, Harry. Probably an awful lot better if you'd stop mentioning it, Ron. Sorry, Harry. I've been wondering. Do you think Scabbers has been looking ill lately? No offence, Ron, but Scabbers didn't look that healthy to begin with. Maybe I should change his diet or something. You could try, but I can't see it's going to do much for him, to be honest. Do you think we'll find fire seeds in something that's on fire? <laughs> supposed to catch Billy Wicks. I've got to tell you, I just got a letter from the Committee for the Disposal of Dangerous Creatures. They're investigating a complaint against Buckbeak made by Lucius Malfoy. Still, I shouldn't bother you with that. <coughs> Even if we find some chispurfles, how are we going to get the carapaces off them? How are we supposed to catch Billy Wings? Aren't those chis purples under those bushes? How do you think we get them out of there?
touch his purple carapace. One more and we'll have enough. Ah. That's it. We have all the chis purple carapaces we need. Where can we find some fire seeds? It's running freezing! We have to find Buckbeak. Let's go. How are we supposed to catch Billy Wing? One more and we'll have enough. That's it. We have all the Billy Wigs we need.
Oh, it's so flipping cold. Do you think we'll find fire seeds in something that's on fire? This is where we can get fun. A fire seed. That's it. We have all the fire seeds we need. <sighs> Let's get going, shall we?
Hello. I'm feeling a lot better, thanks. You haven't seen Professor Snape, have you? He has something for me. I hate to say this, but we should go to the dungeons. And, as you can see, combine to form the antidote to uncommon poisons. Which can be administered to cure such things as the venomous bite of a doxy. Now, I would like you to gather together the following ingredients in time for our next lesson. Flying seahorses, doxy eggs, toasted dragonfly thoraxes, and fairy wings. We will be using these ingredients to make the girding potion. Class dismissed. I have ancient runes next. You two go to charms. I'll meet you there. What is she on about? I don't like it down here. Can we go?